As game development has become more accessible, smaller teams with lower budgets have been able to access a market of gamers looking for earnest and personal titles. As a result, the number of independent games continues to grow, and independent development teams and studios have been able to release highly acclaimed titles. Japanese developers Skipmore and Esquadra Inc. have capitalized on this with their title Transurubi. Released on December 9 of 2021, Transurubi is a bite-sized Metroidvania-style game where the player takes control of Surubi, a cyborg of the future traveling through space with her digital companion, Nekom. One morning, a dimension fall appears before them, and after plenty of prodding from Nekom, Surubi decides to investigate. The intro is well done. Surubi and Nekom's personalities are sufficiently defined, and the opening cutscene doesn't go on for too long. The Dimension Fall, which has a planet-like mass where the game will take place, is full of intrigue. It also manages to tackle an issue that many Metroidvanias have explaining why the main character starts from square zero. Due to a rough landing on the Dimension Fall, Surubi is damaged and her primary abilities are disabled. Nekom sends a few automated collectors to the Dimension Fall to gather resources and fix her damaged parts. Surubi will find these collectors as she explores. This gives a narrative reason for the player to start from the bottom of their potential and work their way up by unlocking abilities as they play the game. A defining feature of Metroidvania games is new abilities, and Trent Surubi definitely has its fair share, starting with the Element Gun. This weapon will freeze enemies, which serves both to nullify their threat and allow the player to use them as platforms to reach new areas. Found early in the game, the Element Gun serves as the baseline for most of Transurubi's ability upgrades and progression. Other abilities include Transformations, which allow Surubi to circumvent different obstacles and equipment, which make previously inaccessible areas safe to traverse. The Transformation abilities in particular are an interesting concept that could have been a standout feature, but are sadly underutilized. Surubi's initial controls are pretty standard. She has a single jump, a sword slash combo, and a comfortable running speed. She does not have the ability to jump down through platforms, which end up functioning as one-way gates if the player jumps through them from underneath. This mechanic results in the player having several pathways that lead to dead ends, which is frustrating when trying to explore areas that may have been missed or are needed for further progression. While the games of this genre often require backtracking, the level design in Transurubi can make it more tedious than enjoyable. While not awful, combat in Transurubi isn't a feature that stands out. For the most part, combat consists of approaching an enemy and hitting the slash button until it's eliminated. Some enemies can take more slashes than others or might have an attack to look out for, but fights tend to feel similar to one another. Bosses are unique in appearance and can be difficult, but don't do much to differentiate themselves from other fights. A concept introduced early on is the idea of a boss having a weak spot. If this spot is hit, the boss takes massive damage. Unfortunately, this concept doesn't seem to appear much as the game progresses. Visually, this game looks great. Plenty of indie titles have done pixel art, but they tend to go for more of an 8-bit look. Transurubi is clearly going for more of a 16-bit look and mostly pulls it off. An area that could have used more polish is the look of the environments. While there's little risk of one environment being confused for another, they all use a lot of the same style of assets. A grassy biome might look distinct from a frozen one, but Surubi is still traversing over metal grates and squared off rocky platforms. The developers may not have had the time or resources to polish these, which is understandable, but it's still a flaw in a game with otherwise solid visuals. Transurubi is a game that clearly had a lot of devotion and effort put into it. While it shines in some areas, the experience is hampered in others and can feel like a collection of gimmicks instead of a fully fleshed out game. There is, however, a lot of potential here, and gamers should definitely keep an eye out for future titles from these developers. It may not be for everyone, but for fans of Metroidvanias, Transurubi is worth checking out when it goes on sale. A 3 out of 5.